How's it going everyone? I'm Trench, and in today's video, I'll be going over the basics on how to drive using the manual transmission mode in V Speedway. It's a lot of fun to drift in this game, and if you have an Oculus Quest 2, I highly recommend trying it out. Before we get started, you should first navigate to the settings menu and click on the driving's position tab to adjust your seat and familiarize yourself with the interior of the car. Try to position yourself so that you can see through the reflections of the mirrors easily and make sure that you can reach the gear shift as well as the handbrake. Once you are done with that, head over to the comfort tab and take some time to adjust each setting to make sure that everything meets your taste. I prefer the sliding grab mode over the fixed option because I have to move my hands a lot and it feels a lot more natural. If you are just starting out and are new to V Speedway, I highly recommend practicing in free ride using the automatic transmission mode first, and then once you feel comfortable with that, switch over to the manual mode and practice changing gears while you are stationary. The Vega Sport is a five speed, meaning it has five gears as well as neutral and reverse. While in neutral, you can change to any gear or simply rev the engine. Now there are two ways to change gears. You can either use the stick shift, which is arguably more challenging, or you could simply use the X and A buttons on your controller if you are using an Oculus Quest 2. This will allow you to keep your hands on the wheel as you are changing your gear. It's important to keep in mind that each gear has a minimum speed that you will have to meet in order to accelerate quickly, as well as a top speed that you can't go over without shifting to the next gear, and it is okay to change gears early. The audio will help to cue you when you should be changing gears. When you are ready, Practice accelerating by switching from neutral to first gear while pressing down on the gas. First gear tops out at around 25 kilometers per hour before you need to shift into second gear in order to get more speed. You're gonna continue accelerating until around 60 kilometers per hour before shifting into third, and then about 95, you can shift into fourth. And then finally, after mirroring 135 kilometers an hour, you can go into fifth gear and accelerate until you reach your top speed, which is around 180 kilometers per hour. I went ahead and displayed each of the minimum and maximum speeds for each gear. That way you'll have a better understanding of when you should be shifting. You're going to want to try to stay in the correct gear for the speed that you are going. So if your speed falls below the minimum speed required for the gear you are in, you should downshift to maximize the rate of acceleration. For example, if you are in fourth gear, the minimum speed is 93 kilometers per hour. So if you're going slower than that, you have to shift down into third gear. And once you have the hang of changing gears while driving, you can try adding the handbrake to the mix and start practicing your drifts. In order to drift in V-Speedway, you're going to want to head towards the direction of the turn while going at a reasonable speed. And as soon as you enter the turn, flick the wheel in the direction of the bend and pull on the handbrake. Next, quickly steer away from the bend to begin drifting around the turn. You're going to want to make sure to be pressing on the gas throughout the entire drift. Once you get around the bend, Tap on the brakes to straighten out. In order to get the most speed out of your drift, I highly recommend that you practice in third gear because you can still gain speed mid-drift, unlike fourth and fifth gear, which actually slow you down. If you downshift into third from fourth or fifth, after your speed goes below 93 kilometers per hour, you will regain speed while mid-drift. This will allow you to return back to the optimal speed for fourth gear, allowing you to exit your drift at maximum speed. And if you want faster times, you're gonna have to try to drift a little bit less, because unfortunately, like I said earlier in the video, drifting does slow you down. If you don't have the game and you're interested in playing, you can find Fee Speedway in the Oculus Store, the App Labs, and play for free. The game won't be getting any new content, but don't worry because the developer of Speedway is already working to release a full game called Downtown Club. It's expected to release sometime in 2022, and they will be adding multiplayer not long after launch. Anyways, I really hope that this video helps some of you guys, and if it did, please consider subscribing and it will help me towards reaching my goal of 100 subscribers. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.